every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I complete my everyday makeup look. So if you're interested in this look, keep watching. The first thing that I like to do when I do my makeup, if I have time, I'm not gonna lie, I don't do this every day. But if I have time, like on the weekend, stuff like that, I will pop my little bunny ears out and get to work. Happy Easter! <laughs> what I like to do first is I like to grab my sponge that I use for my foundation. Spray it with water a little bit. Spray that. Get you one of these. Fill it up with water. Make that baby's moist. After I wet my sponge, I like to go ahead and put my concealer all over my face or as needed and right now i'm currently using the Too faced born this way multi sculpting concealer so in the summer i'm in the shade golden beige in the winter i am in the shade shortbread so yeah, i don't know about you but i get pale during the winters okay i get pale so i go from this color to this color i'm just gonna apply it to the areas that i feel like need it I am really insecure about my bags slash dark circles so I definitely always like to make sure I conceal my under eye area. I'm going to apply this on both sides of my cheeks, really my whole face. Honestly, I don't really get my forehead because my forehead doesn't need it but just apply your concealer as needed or foundation as needed. I find that the Too Faced concealer is a thick consistency, so this should be enough. So now I just like to let it sit. I like to let it sit until I'm done with my makeup and then that's when I go blend it out. Then I like to do my eyebrows, carve them out, all that good stuff. So I like to use several things. This, this, and this. The magic behind my eyebrows is this e.l.f ultra precise brow pencil health ultra precise brow pencil this is magic you don't need anastasia none of that i've never even bought it but listen save yourself some bucks and get this because elf they know what they're doing so what i like to do first oh look at this y'all look that's how you know i like it oh barely got any left so i like to shape my eyebrows first outline it and if you guys can tell i got a mirror here def you definitely need a mirror obviously you need a mirror i'm gonna carve this baby out to your liking whether you like bushy brows soapy brows i don't know i don't even know the terms y'all whatever works for you do it with different shapes of faces that's how you decide how you're gonna do your makeup because trust me it can be a game changer the one brow i always have an issue with is this one right here it always gives me trouble i don't know why and then every time i get my eyebrows done they're not sisters they're like cousins they never want to cooperate together Ugh. then i like to go in with my elf i guess pomade pop i don't know something this is this this is like the dip brow thing i wish i knew the makeup terms y'all i'm so sorry okay ring camera go off this is in the shade medium brown what the little bottle looks like i don't think this is a darkest shade but this is pretty dark so i will say one thing about the elf one thing about this elf dip thingy <laughs> is this thing is very strong so listen dip it in lightly dip it in lightly this is strong listen back in high school i used to do my eyebrows all black really dark and that's not a good look okay i'm just gonna tell you now it's not a good look you want to go for something a little more natural per se just nothing that's gonna make your eyebrows look just pitch black you don't want that you know you don't want that like looking back on my high school pictures like uh why don't anybody say anything you know so I'm here trying to help you out. And the makeup brush that I like to use is actually an e.l.f. brush. This video is not sponsored by e.l.f. Although e.l.f., if y'all watching this, hit me up. 
I got you. I like to use the e.l.f. small angled brush. Now, a lot of these, they don't make them anymore. As you guys can see, all of my e.l.f. brushes have held up great throughout the years. I will say that. So I definitely do recommend e.l.f. brushes. If you're looking for any brushes, check out e.l.f. or Morphe. Morphe has great deals as well. All right, so y'all saw me dip it in, right? We dip it in a little bit, a little bit, okay, a little bit. And then, bam, we go to town a little bit, lightly, lightly. Or until you're satisfied with the look. Now, we're not going to cover everything. I will say that. We're not going to cover everything. Don't worry about this. If you guys can see this right here, how that's not covered or anything, you don't want to cover that. We want to do like, make it look a little natural. We do the same with the other brow. And if you feel like you've used up all the product, go ahead and go ahead and dip some more. Dip it lightly. Dip it lightly. You've been warned. Now, that looks good enough for me. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our eyebrow pencil and we're going to use this little thing, this gem. We're going to use that, this side, because it has the little pencil and it has this, let's call it spoolie. And it has this little spoolie. And so what I like to do is go crazy. Go crazy here, just go crazy. And I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but you guys see how that's blending out beautifully at least to me it's blending out nice and smooth right there like i said this eyebrow does never give me this eyebrow never gives me any issues but this eyebrow oof. i could spend my, my whole day trying to fix this eyebrow and it still won't be perfect or at least not how i want it you know and sometimes with this brow since it gives me so much issue i like to go back and use this and trace a little more I do make a mistake I just remove it with my finger now another thing that I like to do while I'm doing my eyebrows and the shape is I like to where's my skirt? I like to cut any unnecessary extra hairs that I see on my eyebrows so when I use this spoolie and I puff out and I, I I'm gonna use puff out I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know these i don't know these makeup terms so when i puff out my eyebrows if i see any hairs standing up we're gonna get rid of them because no you either obey or you get cut so any hairs that stand up outside of the shape that we've created we're gonna cut now don't go crazy don't go crazy because again i don't know about you but i still want to look okay-ish once i take off my makeup so i still want to have eyebrows at the end of the day you know so just be careful i see this little hair y'all see that y'all see that hair up there yeah i see that hair i'm gonna cut it off i um, like that little hair yes perfect now after you're satisfied with all those steps and the shape of your eyebrows and then we are going to do the final this is like the final step to your brows we're going to grab a concealer I like to use an old concealer and a concealer that's not too expensive. Me, personally, I'm not going to use Too Faced on my eyebrows. Like, I'm just not. I guess you could, but once you find out how much Too Faced costs, you're not going to want to do that. Because you, you're going to use this every day. You know what I'm saying? So, But something still that kind of goes with the concealer slash foundation that you're using. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This one's old, but I can't remember how old it is, and I don't know what shade. Oh, this is in the shade M100. It says Golden Natural Natural Dore. Natural Dore. I don't know. That's what it looks like right there. And a little, a little goes a long way with this concealer. I will say that. Before I found the Too Faced concealer, I was using this one, but I found I find that this is not really my shade. So honestly, instead of getting rid of Concealers that aren't your shade that you've had for a while, just use them for your eyebrows. Use them to carve out your eyebrows. And this, to me, this is all I need. Once I start carving it out, if I find that I need more, I just add a little more. Or I'll grab one from the other brow. If I put too much, like for example, I can see I put too much on this side. So this one's going to be super, super moist and juicy. So if I don't have enough here, I'm going to grab some from over here. Get it? And I like to use the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. Now this one, I'm not going to lie to y'all. 
this brush already broke but i love this brush so much and i i've been trying to look for a replacement but there's just nothing like this i'm, I'm not even gonna lie i love this brush because it's something about the head i don't know i just i'm not able to find anything like this this brush y'all is really 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 old and so when it broke i was heartbroken but i thought i could get another one but you know elf also likes to come up with new things so they don't make this brush anymore but any small brush like this will work for your eyebrows. So, you know, we're going to be gentle. Because you don't want to get that on your eyebrow. Because that's annoying. I feel like in this step is really, really where the shape takes place. And oh, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. But do you guys see how buttery and it just, how it just glides? Like, there's some concealers that are rough. But... Trust me, this concealer is everything. Another thing that should be noted about this concealer is, I will say, it dries pretty quickly. So, you want to work fast. This, this concealer is not like this concealer where you can just leave it on your face and it's okay. No. Girl, when you put it on your face, you got like 5 minutes. And that's me exceeding the time. So, then once I'm satisfied with... The shape that I did with the concealer, I will blend it out with my finger. If you want to use something else, you can, like a brush or a beauty blender, a small one, then you are welcome to do so. This is just what I like to do. And make sure you guys blend that out really well because, for example, I feel like far away it looks blended, but then once you get close, you can see a little bit of the parts that weren't blended. So just make sure. Make sure you blend it all out because not everybody will tell you like, hey girl, your makeup, your makeup needs to be fixed. And you know, there's always nice ways to say that. So, and see, like I said, this brow always gives me issues. So after I blended out the concealer, I feel like I lost a little bit of shape here. So I'm gonna go back and reshape. I'm not going to go back and use the concealer again, but what I will do is puff it out. Puff it out with a little stoolie. Stoolie? I'll, I'll blend it out with the little spoolie. I guess I just invented a word. Stoolie? What? Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. Y'all, you know what I hate? I hate when you gotta sneeze and you just put on mascara. Like... Have you ever sneezed after you put on mascara? Ooh, it's painful. It's painful. It's so painful. Another thing that's really, really important to make sure your makeup goes on smooth is I definitely, definitely recommend you put on a moisturizer or an SPF, an SPF primer before you do your makeup. I like to moisturize just like with a moisturizer that I would use when I get out the shower, but that's just because I don't have a lot of face problems when it comes to makeup you know the one that i like to use is this one from milani this spf 30 primer and i find that a little goes a long way just a little put all over put it all over your face that'll do the work so the next step is my most exciting it's mascara time we're gonna be using the lash paradise mascara and this is in Black is black, and I also like to use, oh, I guess these are both black is black. I like to go, I like to do black is black or black something. I like to go in with black is black because that's just the strongest. I like the black is black. And I just recently started using this one again, this L'Oreal Voluminous original mascara i love this one as well this one's in the shade black is black as well and the reason why i like to use several mascaras is because i feel like that's what really gives it the volume and the texture and the perfect look i feel like whenever you just use one mascara it just doesn't do the trick it doesn't do the trick alone i think you need several mascaras sometimes i like to use two or three different mascaras all depending on what i have available sorry about that change of scenery Depending on the wand, I like to get under and lift it up. This one, I like to do that. I like to go under and lift it up. Even after years of doing my mascara, I still cannot 
do the perfect mascara where I don't get mascara on my eye, okay? And it's honestly not a big deal. You can grab a, a ear thing, the thing that you use to clean your ear. I don't know, you guys. The English words are just not coming to me today. But, you know, the thing that you use to clean your ear, you can just damp it a little bit and then clean off that excess mascara on your lids. I also like different wands because different wands separate the lashes individually different. Really, I think it all just comes down to how heavy-handed you are. I think out of all the steps that I do for my everyday makeup, this is the one step that takes me the longest and with good reason. I definitely always wanna make sure that my eyes pop out and I feel like, well, I, me personally, when I look at somebody, I look right into their soul, into their eyes. So when you look at me, I want you to look at me and then notice my lashes, you know? You don't need to break the bank with these mascaras, you guys. I don't, I don't think you need expensive mascaras. I feel even drugstore mascaras are already really expensive. Like for, for example, this one used to be nine, ten dollars and it went up to twelve ninety nine plus tax. So yikes, you know, it's not cheap, but it will last you a while. I do take a long time doing this process. This is the longest step for my makeup routine, but the time that I take on my lashes is shown in the results. You guys will see. I would say from this mascara and the other mascara, this one is great for separating the lashes individually. The Lash Paradise, the one that's in the pink tube, that one is so great at lifting them up. I mean, look at that. But this one is great, as you can see, to get in those little corners that are tedious. With a bigger one, it can be a little risky. With the smaller ones, the risk is minimal. Once I am satisfied with my mascara, I will go in with one of these. Hopefully I remember what this is called before I upload the video. If not, y'all help me out in the comments. So what I like to do is close each eye and get under there. Now make sure you damp it because you don't want the little fuzzies to get on your to get caught on one of your lashes because that is annoying. It's annoying to get out. Now that I'm done with that step, then comes the fun part. I will move this back a little bit because I'm not going to get my ears, but I just want to make sure I don't get it on the bunnies. So I learned that it's better to blend it out with the, the beauty blender, like tapping it rather than just smushing it all over your face. If you have the time, it's best to do it like this just beating your face literally beat that face girl beat it okay beat that face don't be scared and i am using the elf beauty blender I'm telling y'all they need to sponsor me i also like to use a small beauty blender around the upper corners of my eyes because it just blends better that way you see how perfect it fits up there elf if you find yourself breaking out a lot more than usual then it might be time then it might be time to wash your brushes after a certain time you just need to say goodbye to a beauty blender and get a whole new one okay it's only so many times you can wash a beauty blender before it's it's just it's just time to get a new one, okay? And I do like to get my forehead a little bit with whatever's left over on my beauty blender just because the look looks best once it's all just one color, you know? Or one shade. Now, once you are done with that, we are almost done with the look. I am gonna go in with my Hula Bronzer. And I know you heard of this one, girl. I know you heard of this one. It is pricey, but I'd say it's worth it because I've had this for more than a year i think more than two years and it's still going and i love this little brush you can use whatever brush you want but i honestly i don't mind this brush i like this brush it's a little brush that it comes with super cute and this is the mini size so you can get something that's bigger than this i'm gonna put that forehead back give you guys some forehead action 
put some bronzer there there now the bronzer i'm not gonna lie i don't do this every day it just depends if i have time and then i'll do right here get my not my cheekbones but below the cheekbone and don't worry we will blend it out don't worry now when it comes to brushes i am not the best person to advise you guys on the brushes but i'd say i'd say i'm on the right path the brush that i just used to blend out my bronzer is this real techniques 400 brush i don't know if you guys can see there is a better brush to blend out your bronzer but honestly i don't have that with me right now so that's why i'm using this one but there is a better brush to use so please if you're a makeup guru please don't come for me next we do the fun part i feel like this is the fun part for one we're getting close to the end and for two i love picking up my blush because every day i like to pick out a different blush i picked up the milani luminoso baked powder listen this powder is everyone's favorite if you've never tried milani's blushes girl Stop what you're doing and go to the store right now. So, I am a little heavy-handed as you guys can see. I'm like, uh, tapping that, tapping that, and I'm going to get all over my cheekbone. Get all over my cheekbone. The good thing about Milani's blush is that you honestly get, you get a blush and highlight look all in one. And for the price of less than $10. I believe it's less than $10, yes. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it is less than. And even even if it is more than ten dollars, I think it's definitely worth worth it. I like all of their baked blushes. I have their whole, all of them, and I think they are amazing. Definitely recommend it. Cause look at that. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's giving me that little glow right there. Listen, that's what Milani will do to you. The makeup brush that I like to use for my blush is this Wet and Wild. What and wild what? I don't know. It blurred out, but this is what it looks like. It's from Wet and Wild. Okay, I am so dumb. I don't know how I could forget one of the main steps to these to this makeup look. So before you do the bronzer and the blush, you are supposed. Well, I am supposed to. I like to go in with my setting powder and this is the one that I like to use because it doesn't give me a crazy white cast. It does give me a little white cast but that just depends on how much I put. So unfortunately I forgot to put it on but I cannot, I don't know about you but I learned that the key to not creasing your makeup is setting powder. So you want to do this before you do your bronzer and your blush but me being dumb i don't know how i forgot it but i forgot it but honestly it's it's not that serious if i have to fix it i will fix it if i have to put more blush i will put more blush but we cannot we we cannot complete the look without setting powder if there is anything you take away from this video is that setting powder is a must it's a must like it's not an option and i just recently started doing this right here as well even though nothing creases here i don't know i just started doing that right there because i like to i know some people like to put it on their forehead wherever you think you need it go to town okay but well don't go too crazy okay don't go too crazy like i said fine I found that this setting powder is the one that works best for me. All the other ones gave me a crazy, crazy white cast. To test if a setting powder is good for you, I recommend taking a picture with a flash on it, girl. If you like that white powder look under your eyes, then get it. But hey, that's not for me. I don't like that. So I like something that just, you know, that just kind of goes with the look. So less, I feel like less is more. You want to get enough to obviously make sure that it doesn't crease, but you don't want to overdo it. I think that's where I have learned a lot. Watching a lot of makeup videos, I feel like they're very, very heavy-handed. I personally don't like to be heavy-handed with 
my setting powder again if you're looking for that white cast if you do like that little white look under your eyes because i know you guys have seen it then you know be my guest but i personally don't like that so ideally i like to let it sit for about three four minutes but i'll be real with you if i'm in a rush we put it on i kind of look at my eyebrows one more time to see if i need to fix my eyebrows and we dust it off to clean the powder off i like to use this elf blush brush that's what i like to use it's called the elf blush brush imagine saying that sentence really quick five times blush brush blush brush blush uh. for me to prolong things i like to do the chin first so i can prolong the powder to sit in Another thing that I just started doing recently is after I'm done doing that, I like to kind of put it all over my face. I like to believe there's a little extra there that's going to set, that's going to make my makeup look even better. I don't know. This is just something I like to do. As you guys can see, I definitely did lose a little bit of blush doing that. So I'm going to go back. It's okay if you forget to use the setting powder as long as you have not used setting spray i believe you're good but hey i'm not a makeup guru so then after that we just have lipstick and we're done i'm not gonna cap for the camera and say that i do setting spray every day because i don't honestly i don't the only time that i do setting spray is on the weekends during the week i don't have time for the setting spray i just don't so i just skip that part but you're more than welcome to the setting spray. This is just my everyday makeup routine. Today I'm feeling this Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Naked 6061. And then for the lip gloss, I'm going to go in with this Essence Extreme Plumping lip gloss. Pretty in pink and it also says Extreme Plumping. On my everyday makeup, I do not go in with a lip liner. During the week, I don't have time to go on with the lip liner. I just don't. And my lip gloss. And sometimes, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, sometimes I don't even have time for that. So, I'll just do my lipstick in the car. So, I love this combo together. And then, I can finally take my bunny ears off. 